much about because I can still whiff my meaty option and uh, you'll be safe. I'll be safe. Like, when he had V-Trigger, I was trying not to go for Command Grab. Yeah. Because that'll be unsafe. That'll get punished. Yeah, no. But, like, the the Wake Up V-Trigger Super that I got hit by in the last round, I walked into it. Okay. I, I panicked and I walked forward. Alright. Uh, Alright, we're so getting into this the, next here's going to be one of the biggest upsets of the game. Yeah, these, these are two highly seated players. I believe this is second and third. Yeah, right? The last bi-weekly. You're and sitting comfortably in your throne right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm sitting right, right on top like I like to be. But, uh... I don't oh, know. Nice reaction. <coughs> yeah. So there's uh there's some stuff that I've noticed that Codeless does that uh, a lot of players aren't taking advantage of. You have to take and grab your medium kick. It's well taking grab into medium kick is one specific example, but he likes to stand just outside of stand medium kick range. Well he's rushing down right now. But he likes to stand just outside of stand medium kick range and just throw that button out. And you can whiff punish it. Um, but nobody's really trying too hard to do so right now. But uh, hopefully somebody will pick up on that. But... Alright, good punish. This feature trigger pressure is super annoying from Chun-Li. Like, to my understanding, it doesn't change her frame data technically. But I very rarely try to punish anything that's not crouching medium punch because it's really hard. Yeah. Alright, good reversal. Chun Li, uh, Greedy Chun Chun has established uh, a spot. Yeah, he's trying to keep That was a good read. Nice, that's a good knockdown. I don't know what told him that Hoodless would do the EX dive from that distance, but it was a good, good idea he had there to jump up. I wonder if Chun Li has any good options to call out. Uh, or banana use from Birdie. Like, certain characters have good ways to stop him from doing that, but uh, I don't know about Chun Li at certain spacings. Like she can probably use Stand Fierce to beat it preemptively, but that's still got to be a little tricky. Oh, nice question. Yeah, Birdie is one of the few characters that can actually like compete with Chun Li in terms of just raw good normals. Yeah, yeah, no, because his reach. Is yeah, his reach is fantastic on Stand Medium Punch and Stand Medium Kick. And then he's got all these space control options that Chun doesn't have, the can yeah. and the banana. But, uh, I like that Hoodless is playing a little bit more aggressive this time around. Uh, usually, when I've seen him play in the past, he's pretty passive. He likes to play neutral and block a lot, but uh, he's getting a lot of mileage right now out of rushing Greedy Chun down. Good pick, Oh man, he tried something. He tried to Nice, uh, I'm kind of curious what that wake-up decision was. Oh, oh good use of V-Trigger! I like using that, uh, had a reset. Overhead. When I first saw V-Trigger in this game, I thought that you might be able to use it like a, uh... Oh, oh nope. That was kind of a desperation, throw out the far fear super, I know they confirm. But, uh, when I first saw V-Trigger activation in this game, I was wondering if you could use it like Uniel's Chain Shift. Yeah. Where you, you you stop time and you identify what the situation is, and it, it seems like some of them you can. It's de character uh, dependent. Yes, yeah, it's, it's you, can't, you can't count on it for me and Ken. Yeah. Unless if I throw out a right normal where, it's, uh, where I can dash in and it becomes a frame track. Yeah, and it's it's not like you kneel where like you do it and you are instantly able to do something. Yeah. There's a little bit of delay on the activation. Ooh. That was far. That feels really bad to get hit by. You see it coming, you're like, what do I yeah. do? Hoodless going for lots of tick throws off that jump in medium punch. Good air to air. And, uh, three each other establish, uh, now he's gotta try to establish, you know, a footing to play his footsies. Yeah. It's hard to play footsies against Birdie, um, especially when he's got you pressured in the corner like this. It's not the usual way I see Birdie play, but he's getting all, he's doing really fantastic with it. I guess he's trying to, like, I guess what Hood is trying to like deal with the uh, uh, Greedy Chun's passiveness. Hey, yeah. Nice answer here. He's getting in his head. Like, when you don't want to maybe play mind games with your opponent, or uh, like if you don't want to give them time to adapt, sometimes it's really good to change up your style and rush them down like this. And it's on Greedy Chun now to adapt to it. Good V trigger, or V skill. That's a that's an interesting V skill. I'm not like I'm not entirely sure what the purpose is of it. Like, he gets out of fireballs uh, with the correct spacing. I don't know, it's really interesting. I'd like to learn more about this character if I didn't suck so bad with the Chun Li. Oh, nice. He just stepped out of the way. Yeah, that was good. 
Alright, Greedy Chun has the life lead. He doesn't have to go in. He can just chill out. But he does need to make sure that Birdie doesn't start controlling space with the various projectiles he has. Good block on the cross under. It's always kind of a tricky situation in this game. Wonder why no super. Oh, I wonder if that was supposed to be the super. Uh, reset. That should be it. That's it. Wow. Hoodless eliminates Greedy Chun in the first round of losers. I know. It's kind of crazy. Greedy Chun is out. That's such a that, that's such a turnaround from last bi-weekly's results. This is the eighth win for player one. <laughs> Greedy Chun not happy with the results of his tournament match. Going 0-2. 0-2 boys.